All right, welcome to a video on hashing with linear pro probing. This is going to be one of two videos. The other one will be with um, double hashing. This is going to be the simpler one, so we're going to start here. This is what we're going to hash. I just picked a bunch of numbers. Hopefully I will stick with them. And this is going to be the, the hash function. So we're going to do this slowly and... Uh, by hand without a calculator just so that it can sink in. When dealing with mods this means that the once you get to 13 you go back to 0. So kmod k mod 13 is the function uh, one mod any number below 13 mod 13 is just that number so like 2 mod 13 is 2 10 mod 13 is 10 it only matters when you get into above 13, at which point it goes back to zero and you start going into a circle. Like 14 mod 13 is 1, or 13 mod 13 is 0. So 96 mod 13 is 96 minus 13 a bunch of times until you get to below um, 13. So what I like to do for a, a, by hand you can use the the percent symbol in a lot of calculation programs or whatever that'll give you the mod number but since we don't have that what we're going to do is well this is one part the other part we'll do up here i like to have a little key that just counts by 13 so 13 26 39 what's next 50 2, I think. Maybe it'll do the math for me. But if you just do the math up to the necessary values, I think that's far enough. So these are these are our zeros. These are the numbers that are divisible by 13. So 26 mod 13 is 0. But that also tells us that we can go based on this when we're looking at our numbers that we want to, to hash. So let's Let's start. 98, we want to find the number that we, we want to subtract something from 98 so that it is less than 13. And we're going to pick the number closest to it, 91. So 98 minus 91 is 7. And we can put that in, uh, in this column with it. We're going to say 7. For now, we're not actually. This is going to be where we put our hash, our hash table. This is uh, where it will map to. But we might have collisions, so we're not going to put it there just yet. Um, Thirty-three mod thirteen, twenty-six, twenty-six. Uh, Thirty-three minus twenty-six is seven, so it's also seven. So we are going to have a collision. Great. We'll deal with that in a bit. Uh, Thirty-six minus the the number less than it is 26, so that's 10. So 36 mod 13 is 10. We'll do 96 next. 91 is the value less than, closest to, but less than 96. So 96 minus 91 is 5, which means that 96 mod 13 is 5. 77, the 78 is close, but it's not. 65. So 77 mod 13 is 77 minus 65, which is 12. 11 mod 13 is just 11, because we don't really need to deal with subtraction until we get to 13. Or we could call it 0. It starts at 0, and 11 minus 0 is 11. 27 Let's see, 26 is the closest that is less than, so 1, 27 minus 26. 84, we have 78, so 84 minus 78 is 6. 66, 65 is less than but close to, 66 minus 65 is 1. 58, 52, 58 minus 52 is 6. So I, hopefully you're following me so far. Um, these are going to be our, our relevant values now. Um, but we have to 
we'll, we're going to go one by one because we're going to have some collisions. We're going to have collisions right off the bat. So we need to start at the beginning. 98 maps to 7. So we go to 7, we get 98. 33 maps to 7. We go to 7. We already have a spot here, so that's a problem. And since this is linear probing, what linear probing, probing means is when you encounter a collision, what you do is just move the spot to the right. So 33 will map here. Next we have 36 maps to 10. 36 is fine here because there's no collision. 96 maps to 5. 96 goes here, there's no collision. 77 maps to 12. 77. 11 maps to 11, no collision. 27 maps to 1, goes here. 84 maps to 6, we're doing good with no collisions, 84. Oh wait, I screwed up, didn't I? What was this? 27 maps to 1, not 1. 27. Okay, now we have 84 maps to 6. 66 maps to 1. We already have one spot taken, so because of linear probing, we just move it one spot over, so 66 maps to 2. And 58 maps to 6. 58 maps to 6, that spot's taken, we move to 7, that spot's taken, we move to 8, that spot's taken, we move to 9. So 58 moves to nine, or maps to 9. And one of the problems with hashing with linear probing is because we just move the spot one over, uh, we tend to get clusters of of hashing and, and emptiness too. So that's going to be hopefully solved, maybe it won't be demonstrated well, but it will be solved with double hashing, which we'll be doing next. If you have any questions, let me know. Besides that, be well.